In space, astronauts are subjected to zero gravity. That means we must do resistive exercise in order to maintain our muscle mass and our bone mass. We needed a resistive exercise device that didn't depend on weights. We needed something compact, lightweight, and effective, and that's why we went with the Spiroflex technology. A 16-week NASA study proved that Spiroflex resistance increased muscle strength and size as much as working out with free weights. Spiroflex works so well, NASA astronauts have used it to keep fit on the space station for almost 10 years. We got launched on the space shuttle, and then it docked with the International Space Station, and it was one of the first pieces of equipment that was offloaded and installed uh, by the first crew. This is why NASA selected Spiroflex, is because we proved that it provided the same uh, benefits as free weights. I mean, everybody on the team was like, my God, you know, I can't believe we're developing the first resistive exercise device for space. Today, we induct into the Space Technology Hall of Fame interim resistive exercise device, Spiroflex. Originally designed for use in space, that today, improved the quality of all our lives here on Earth. So if I can please call forward and induct into the Space Technology Hall of Fame, I would like to invite Johnson's, the Johnson Space Center director to come forward, as well as Paul Francis, uh, of the CEO of OYO, uh, OYO LLC. Gentlemen, congratulations and thank you. Who knows where we'll go and what we'll find out in the next 50 years.